So I want to watch it here. Okay, next one. And uh, first of all, I want to give you a little bit of background about China. We have about 27 provincial cancer hospitals and uh, in the 31 pr provinces and the 73 cancer hospitals in China and the district level and also about 24 cancer hospitals in China in the county levels. So we have more than 800 cancer spe <coughs> specialized radiation therapy units and all levels and our native worker for cancer prevention and control and the state level, district level and county level. So, so we have a national cancer center, which is located in Beijing is my hospital. And, uh, and uh, our uh, country and the big change is uh, year 2003 when SARS and uh, gave uh, our the big lessons, the media has uncovered the cancer problems. And also we realize how serious cancer burden and uh, so if we don't and uh, control the cancer and uh, so that will be big damage to our society. So the government, the, the, particularly the new government, uh, and they want to and establish and the new systems to deal with the cancer. And also we need to thank WHO and the, and the past resolution and the UN and General Assembly in New York and also the past NCD issues in the year 2011. So <clears throat> you might uh, and talk in the beginning of the ceremony the day before yesterday, I talked about the, and before UN passed the resolution and there was the WHO and health minister and a meeting in May of 2011 in Moscow. So Russian and uh, and sponsor that uh, minister and the meeting and help to reach the final agreement and which can present in the UN assembly in New York. And so I think that we need to thank our uh, and Russia and and, and colleagues. And if we look at the, the, the data and, and, and from the, and, and our Ministry of Health, you will see and here in China, and we have about just a little bit lower than 5% of the minimum requirement for the country, and they should spend for the health care. So comparison in India, we have a similar, India, we have a similar, similar level and even less than the, uh, the uh, Iran and Japan. And uh, also in, the, in, in, our, in our country, we use uh, a lot of uh, human resources and also uh, facilities and in the uh, urban area and comparison to rural area, we have the huge shortage <coughs> of the uh, support. And uh, then if you comparison our five years survival, this is the, the data we published just last year and, and by our national cancer centers. And uh, you, you will see and hear overall cancer, five years of survival only 30.9%. And uh, but the, the urban area is a uh, little bit higher, and, and, but in the countryside you will see only 21%. So that's very low comparison of North America and the European countries. So and um, we have to do something and uh, to uh, try to uh, increase our five year survival and uh, help our peoples. And the second part of my and, and the talk, I want to talk about the cancer screening because when you realize you how poor your five year survival, so you have to and uh, elevate your diagnosis and. Uh, in your hospital service, if you always diagnose the people at a related stage, and the treatment will not help. So then we 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 we, we need to, you know, and uh, and uh, improve our uh, and the cancer and control. And but unfortunately, we until now we still not have a national cancer, and uh, and act not like uh, you know many other countries, and uh, also even. Recent year, we have more and more funding, and from the cancer prevention, and for the public health. But it's not, not really has the constant support, and that depends on which year the government budget. So that we we are healthcare system in a rural area, we are getting the better now. But our cancer research system has been established, and just as I show you the data we published. 
and the cervical cancer, breast cancer screening in the rural area. This is the two cancer now we are promote in the national level because we realize the big gap between the rural area and the urban area. So our first cancer screening program is focused on the rural area. And, uh, but uh, we still shortage of qualified prevention professional health nationwide. So I will talk about a little bit about later how we can you know, and use our resources to, uh, to handle the clinical and the demand. And in WHO published cancer control, and so we, you know, we and uh, submit our cancer control plans, WHO is recognized, and put China as the example uh, of the top-down planning process because we have very, very high centralized and, uh, and economic and assistance. So I, I, I think many countries may be similar like us, and for the major cancer in our national cancer control programs, we are focused on the lung cancer, liver cancer, stomach cancer, esophageal cancer, and colon cancer, and the breast cancer. So those cancer and uh, account for 80% of all our cancer deaths. And uh, lung cancer is the top priority because it's a huge increase. And, uh, and the cervical cancer and the breast cancer are in the national agenda as well because these two cancer we have the early detection and, uh, and the early treatment and uh, options we can and use it. And, uh, and then we and work, work and, uh, and, uh, has, and the uh, expert groups and we publish the guidelines and, uh, and, and, and the Atlas manual for screening, early detection, diagnosis and treatment and among the nine major and the cancers. It's not for every cancer but the major cancers and uh, also we translate the WHO IARC and, uh, and screening and, and the menu book and, uh, and also ethanol and the teaching material. So with the help from the, uh, Dr. Sanka and, and uh, this is the uh, CDs and we distribute the, and the free of charge uh, to the uh, local doctors and uh, health professionals. And uh, because China is so big and if you look at our map, so we have a big difference uh, and between the east coast, a uh, high uh, resource area, and uh, to the uh, central part of China and the west part of China. So every time we want to and implement some uh, and, uh, health and, uh, and programs, so we always do some demonstration project. So this is some Nancy reportage about our uh, demonstration project. And, uh, and uh, we first of all, we pick up the and uh, uh, RGI cancer, and uh, you see in here RGI cancer, cervical, and uh, NPC, and uh, in the rural area, and uh, garment, and uh, fully sponsor, and for the breast cancer, and uh, the cervical cancer, and uh, for the uh, RGI cancers, only a few and uh, province, uh, because that area has high risk population, we can target. And uh, for the thermal cancer, uh, my presentation the day, be, the, the day before yesterday, I talked, I, so I'm not focused on that. And for the city, and we, we, we are not uh, uh, doing the uh, population base the, and, uh, and the screening, so we just encourage op opportunity screening and uh, for the, and the city communities. And uh, we, the government uh, sponsor lung cancer, liver cancer, stomach cancer, and colon cancer, and breast cancer just by the 14 provinces, and it's less and the population coverage. And uh, not uh, just from the uh, central government put uh, the funding, and also the uh, China and Walker Union also they get some money and to, to support uh, and the city and the women's. And uh, this table shows you the, um, the uh, overall the cancer screening and in China and here you, you can look, look at the cervical cancer is top one. We have over, over 1,109 counties and sit, cities are in the national programs. It's, it's for geo cancers we have from 2006 and we gradually and increase our screening coverage, and now we have 121 county and cities, and the colorectal cancer is about 24, and liver cancer is 13, and the NPC is seven, 
and the stomach only a few, and the lung cancer a few. So the, and the, for the breast cancer, we have 220. So this year we try to and, and, and match and to the cervical cancer and screening by the county side, but the coverage, the population coverage is still not can compare with the cervical. And the, so this is a map, you will see the old screening side and the focus on the central part of China for the far west of China. We, we have very few, and, and the county and the cities, they have the health professionals can handle the population based on the screenings. And uh, uh, so I have some time, so I just want to give the one of example of the cancer, which is the breast cancer. And the breast cancer screening in China, and uh, we, we are first time in initial programs, 1.2 million, and the rural women and, uh, and the screening. And at that time, so we have the difficulty to decide which screening technique we use it. And uh, during our uh, uh, the, 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 the plenary me meetings, and, uh, and many Chinese doctors uh, talk about the mammography evidence from North America and European countries. And uh, another group of doctors uh, discussed about the ultrasound. So the, the, ar the argument is Chinese women has a small breasts and also high density breasts. And so, so the, the mammography may not good and uh, for the breast cancer screening. So um, they propose the ultrasound. But you know the ultrasound has no clinical your trial and the evidence to show has and good performance. And so in the year 2009, at that time, when we decided the five years program, eventually the agreement is just use clinical breast examination, no mammography, no ultrasound. So the, after three years and, and the screening, and, and then we realize because when you're doing this is in the county level, the woman church in the hospital, you do not have the expert of the, the breast and surgeon to do the clinical breast examinations. So, and the, the detection rate is very low, and then the, we didn't observe the downstage many information. We, we just tell us it's not a, and a good. So, start from year 2012, and then we change our plan from the clinical breast examination to the ultrasound, then if ultrasound the positive and go to mammography. So this is our the, the plan. And the, in China, we publish many papers. So this is one of the overview paper and published in Anansi Oncology. And compared to our country, we have over 7,000 papers we published on the subject of breast cancer research. But we have none the clinical trial to comparison and a screening and a test. So this is very and embarrassed. And we only find the one paper, because two years ago when WHO host the um, breast cancer screening guideline meeting in the Leon IARC. So I, I did the literature, and, uh, and then at and that time I didn't find the paper, but after that meeting, we found one paper. But this paper is not, uh, you know, and sometimes there's some troubles uh, to understand. You will see and here they are mammography, you know, sensitivity, right? And, and also, you, you, see, you will see that this is sensitivity, right? And for the mammography, and uh, this is ultrasound, and uh, so the total, and this is, so you cannot, you know, and this, to divide this data, I have 100% sensitivity. So this is uh, uh, even ultrasound and mammography. So this is has some problems. And uh, so then we, we have to comparison here. Maybe you say comparison is ultrasound. This is the mammography. I think there's another one. Oh, sorry. And uh, so we, we have difficulty to interpret this sort of data. And this is a paper, uh, this is the, 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 the meeting and, the, and host in the uh, IARC uh, 2014 that discussed about the you know, handbook of the breast cancer screening. And then after this meeting, they, they, we published 
this final and, 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 and the meeting result, but you will see and hear the ultrasound. Even in China, we use, uh, you know, so and many years, but we still not get the international and the consensus because, you know, they reduce the breast cancer mortality inadequate and also increase the breast cancer detection rate immediately eliminated and reduce the internal cancer rate also inadequate. Only one has sufficient to increase the false positive. So based on this result, we have very difficulty and to, 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 to do the ultrasound and screening, but now our government and, this, and, and, and this realize the problem and, and now sponsor the huge and fund and try to and get the, the data and then we can maybe generate some and uh, evidence for the breast cancer screening by ultrasound and in Asian women. Okay, the finally, I want to make some summary on the cancer burden inside very, China. Very quickly, very quickly. I finished, right? Yeah, I know, I know. Very okay, thank you. So then we, we need, a, you know, government support and also we need a, our international collaboration and thank you for your attention. Thank you. Good. So we have time for half a question. Has anybody got a half a question? <laughs> Yes? Uh -huh. So you um, had um, screening programs uh, in China. Have you assessed the harm uh, uh, the harm of a method uh, where you used um, uh, a combination of mammography and ultrasound, sc ultrasound screening. So whether you assessed uh, the harm caused by different um, survey methods. And uh, uh, in my presentation, I told you, we don't use mammography as a screening at all. So we just use uh, ultrasound. That's it. Mm -hmm. 